What's up you guys and welcome to Wine Jets. Just enjoy the stuff. My name is Max and I like to drink wine. Today I'm at Safeway in Walla Walla, Washington and it's Wednesday, it's Wine Wednesday. And I'm gonna show you 10 wines for $10 or less that are red that I would choose right now. So maybe it'll give you a better idea of what you can get at Safeway. I'm gonna take this inside. Now I'm in the wine section and the liquor section and I'm gonna pick out 10 wines for you that I think will be great $10 and under reds baby. So I've made my selections right now I have them all lined up here on the floor and uh, I'm gonna go through them one by one and show you kind of uh, tell you rather why uh, why I chose these wines here. So the first wine here is called It's a Head Snapper and it's a California it's Radiant Red 2013 red blend. Um, the reason I chose this wine for under 10 bucks is because I think that uh, it's, I've never had this wine, but it's a red blend from California. It's gotta be juicy, it's gotta be delicious, uh, you know, jammy, upfront fruit. So uh, that's choice number one. And I love the screw top. So choice number two, here we go. This is the Bernard Griffin Cabernet Merlot. So it's got 63% Cab Sauv, 30 Merlot, seven Cab Franc. And um, the reason I chose this wine is because um, I like Bernard Griffin and I've been there one time and um, I've got kind of a nice uh, soft spot in my heart for Bernard Griffin. They make some pretty solid wines um, at pretty fair price points. So Bernard Griffin's Cab Merlot is choice number two for under $10. Next we have a Bogle Vineyard. It's a Californian Petite Syrah. Um, and the reason I chose this wine is because not a lot of people have had Petite Syrah and I definitely haven't had enough of it. So Petite Syrah is on my hot list of things to try when I'm in a grocery store. Up next we have the Charles and Charles. Uh, this is a project between Charles Smith from, I guess he's out of Walla Walla, and Charles Beeler, a New York guy, I'm pretty sure. Sorry, that's kind of dark. And so um, this wine is a Cab Sauv Syrah blend, and um, the reason I chose this wine is because A, it's under $10, and B, Charles Smith does a lot of, does a lot of uh, affordable wines too as well. He's got his, uh, his high-end wines, the K Vintners in his sort of mid-level um, grocery store stuff that always delivers really well and I really like it and uh, he's a pretty innovative um, guy in the wine industry and so um, Charles and Charles is choice number four. Next we have this Red Diamond Pinot Noir here. I uh, had this wine, it's uh, about, I don't know, two months ago and I thought it was pretty good. Uh, it, it didn't blow my mind but it's it's uh, light, it's easy to drink on a Wednesday or when the club's going up on a Tuesday uh, and and one of the reasons I like this wine is because it's $7. It's like, if you don't have $7 in change in your couch, uh, then I feel bad for you, but I, I might. And uh, so seven bucks for this wine, not so bad. So Red Diamond, you can find that pretty much anywhere, I gotta, I gotta think. So on to the next one, as Jay-Z once said. Now we are going Italian with the selections here because we're so innovative on wine jets, or because I am, because I'm the guy that does this. Um, this is a Chianti, let's go back to it real quick. A Chianti, so it comes from uh, central Italy and Tuscany, and um, Chiantis were usually a little bit earthier, um, more sort of cherry driven, but um, really nice uh, dry red wines for anyone that's interested in red wines. Um, Chianti is 2013, it's always, it's always good stuff and you can branch out rather than just go with Washington, try something different, go to a different country and try what they're, uh, what they're producing. Next we've got the uh, G3, this is a uh, Goose Ridge. Is um, Goose Ridge Estate Winery. Uh, this is one of the second labels, and it's a. I, I've had this one before. It's a pretty solid red blend. Um, I really like the label. It reminds me of like being in a library. Like if libraries sold wine, this is what they would sell. Uh, I like the font too. So, sorry, that's kind of blurry there. But G3, it's a red blend from Goose Ridge Estates, um, and it's it's enjoyable. It's fruity, and it's uh it's nice to drink with with a partner or by yourself. So we've got a Hogue wine, another Washington wine from Columbia Valley, 2013. Um, I chose this wine because it is Merlot. Let me see if I can focus that here. Yeah, because it's Merlot, and I like Merlots. They're soft, they're supple, they're sexual, and um, it's it's always nice to mix it up with a Merlot. Cabs can sometimes be really aggressive. Syrahs are pretty big as well, but Merlots um, are just are are easy to drink um, and soft and sexy and that's what I like about them so um, a Hogue Merlot is a solid choice for under 10 bones. Next we've got the Alamos. Don't cry for me Argentina. 2011, uh, sorry 2013 Malbec. Um, I really like Malbec delivers some great values still people have been talking about it for like five or six years now but Malbec still has some great value wines and uh, there's always a few that you can trickle in 
whoops, a few that you can find somewhere over there. Um, and Safeway, you'd have to look for them a little bit, but Malbecs are really kicking right now. And last but not least is a CMS uh, Cab Merlot Syrah 2011 Vintage. Let's see here, rounding out the group. This is a wine produced by Hedges Estate. And uh, Hedges is a really pretty place out on Red Mountain if you haven't been out there. It's like a nice like French or, or old world chateau looking place. It's really beautiful. Um, and, and overall they make solid wine. So solid choice here. And last but not least, because I realized I did nine wines and not 10. Uh, we, I got a question for you. You hold this for a sec? Is that we hold this and give me for a sec? Yeah. We're doing 10 wines that are $10. So oh, okay. Is it pretty focused right there on the camera? Yep, you're focused. So this is a Columbia Valley 2011 Syrah from Snoqualmie as a producer. And I chose this because A, I like Syrah, and B, I love the label. And that's uh, the last wine around it out there. Perfect. Thank you. And that's it. So thanks for, um, for hanging in with me and, and checking out uh, 10 wines, 10 red wines in Safeway, under $10. Until next time, bye-bye.